Good morning in my monster lab. Let me show you how to transform your face from something like this to something like this. Is your best best friend when you get older or you have mature skin or is a uh, primer? Everything that is super important because look how discolored my eyes are. All you want to do is prime your eyelids. It, take your finger, put it in, and just pat it along your eyelid. And it creates the most beautiful surface to do your eyeshadow. We'll get started with this palette. So I'm going to start with um, the, the middle shade. And I'm just going to pretend that I have a crease. I'm going to look in the mirror because my crease is way under here. I'm going to look in the mirror and right above where my eye, right above it, I'm just going to sweep that brown shade back and forth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the illusion that that is my crease and not my big hood. Okay, a matte shade back and forth, super easy. Once I have that color on, I'm going to go with the darker color and do the same thing, but I'm going to concentrate a little bit on my outside corners before I sweep it into the crease. On, I'm going to take my cream eyeshadow. It's called Pink Glow. I'm just going to take my finger, put it on, and then I'm going to hold up my lid and place it right below the crease towards the tear duct. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a little bit of pop to the corner. I'm going to take a little bit of this brown color and I put it on my finger and I'm just going to kind of build up that corner and make it a little bit darker. I'm just going to place the color down and then I'll blend it. Okay, so I have the color down. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend that out a little bit. Okay, just like that. And blend everything. Just make it super soft. I don't want any, like, lines. So if I just soften that up and buff it out a little bit, it'll look so much softer. I love this eyeliner. It's an ink eyeliner. It's like a marker. Do you see it? Easy to use. I love to tight line my eyes. And I just do right under my eyelashes. And it really helps define the eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of that dark brown that I used in my crease on the outside. I'm just going to grab a Q-tip and I'm going to take some of that underneath my eye. So I want to add the waterline. Let me just go ahead and do that. The CC Cream is a color corrector and I love to use this on my skin because it evens out my redness and my yellow. And it's perfect, super creamy, dries to a beautiful finish, doesn't need any powder. Even out my skin tone. So pretty. Isn't that pretty? The finish is just beautiful. Next, I'm going to add this Bisc Concealer. It's got a little bit of peach, and I just like to place it right over those dark spots. Right under my eyes, like that. And then I'm going to blend it in with my finger. Now I'm going to come in with a very light color. This is ivory. And I'm just going to do it once more. But I'm going to bring it down a little bit. So that it kind of blends into my cheeks. So I don't look like raccoon eyes, basically. And I'm going to blend that in again. And this is really going to lighten up that whole under eye area. It's going to look so pretty. that all in I'm gonna take this contour stick super easy and it's gonna add such youth to your skin so let me show you so I'm gonna do it right around my hairline and watch how this adds such a warm youthful glow to the skin it is so beautiful this is one of my most favorite products ever and just add that till you love the way that it looks super easy to blend out you honestly cannot make a mistake with this um, I'm gonna make I'm gonna lift my cheeks a little bit add some contour there up here, I've lost all the elasticity, so I'm going to create a tighter jawline. I'm going to come down. I'm going to blend it all into my neck. 
and I'm gonna blend this all in. Super easy. And do my fingers. Just blend it till you really just see a shadow. And that is it. So pretty. Blend this in. And it's gonna create the illusion that my jaw is much firmer. And we'll do this side. Isn't that pretty? So another of my favorite products is the Sunkiss Bronzer. There's no sparkles or frost in it, so it's not going to accentuate any texture in your skin. It's just going to look like warm and sun-kissed and healthy. So go ahead and be generous with the bronzer. Put it all over. I'm going to take a little bit of that Sunkiss Bronzer and just clean up my eye area right here. Just tie everything in. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, there's so many things you can do with these products. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to pop on a little bit of blush and then blend everything out and we are good to go with Kate. I got blush 06. That's a beautiful color. I'm just going to pop it on my cheeks. Put some on my forehead, on my nose. Just go crazy. Okay, now it's the time to blend all this in. Okay, let's blend this out. Okay, so last but not least, and one of the most important steps is eyebrows. So, I love this eyebrow pencil. It's like 10 bucks. It's the best thing you can ever buy for your brows because I've tried them all. So let me just show you how easy this is to use. I'm just going to come up and I'm going to mark my brow. And then we'll compare the two. Hi, Barbie girl. Okay, once that's set, I'm going to spoolie it out and make it a lot softer at the front of my brows. But look at the difference. Isn't that crazy? One side of my face looks so much more youthful and lifted than the other side. So brows are super important. Just do the other side. Another thing you can do to really soften your brows is to add a little bit of powder. And that'll take down the color just a little bit. So I'm going to take down the color just like right in the front. I'm just going to pat some of this on very gently. And then it's going to have more of an ombre effect where it's lighter at the front and gets darker towards the back. And then I can take a spoolie brush and I can just soften that up just a little bit more and make it look like individual hairs as opposed to being drawn on. And I think that gives like a much, much softer, prettier look. I forgot to put mascara on the bottom lashes, so I'm going to do that to finish up. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try this thing where I use the cream eyeshadow. I'm going to use it on my lips too because the cream eyeshadow lasts all day and doesn't budge. So first let me line my lips with a pink color. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of that pink glow and I'm going to put it on my lips. And it's a very nude. It's a very pretty frosty color. And once that dries, I'm going to put lip plumper over it. And I think it'll look really like lip plumper. Oh, I like that. That's so pretty. I've never tried that on my lips before. So. So that's my full face transformation to help you look younger, to kind of hide the whole hooded eye thing going on, to lift and firm and tone the face, and to just pop the eyes, soft lips, and I really like the way it turned out. So if you have any questions about any of these products, my link is in my bio, and I'd love to hear from you. Take care. Bye.